Hi guys, what's up? I've built this drone about two months back after seeing Mr. Shutterbug's video and it was hands down the best flying drone I've built so far. It was insanely fast, which is why I named it Insanity 75. It flew for about five to five and a half minutes and came in at 22.7 grams. So there still was a lot of weight to be shed. But before I start removing motor plugs and direct solder the motors to the board, I wanted to test the different motors and props to see what the differences are and which flies best. But before we get into that, I want to briefly talk about the other components and why I chose them. My camera is a Runcam Nano 3. This is the lightest FPV camera you can get. It weighs only 1.1 grams and still has a very decent picture quality. So that's an obvious choice. My frame is a Beta 75 Pro. Now this is not the lightest frame you can get. It comes in at 5.4 grams. The Mobila 7 V2 frame weighs only 4.2 grams. So you could save almost 1.2 grams here. But I do not want to do that. The Beta 75 Pro frame is a much stronger frame. I've been using this frame for months and hundreds of crashes and it still hasn't broken. The happy model frames usually break within the first two weeks. So in this case, I will sacrifice weight for durability. My FC is the Crazy Bee F4, the ones you find in the Mobula 6. I've never had a problem with these boards and they have a slightly better VTX than Beta FPV all-in-one boards. It's subjective, but that's my experience. And I've also had some problems with some beta FPV ESCs blowing up. Uh, I never had any problems of that kind with Crazy B boards, so that's why I chose them. Let's go back to my motor and prop test. Now this isn't a very scientific test. I haven't done thrust tests or hover tests. I've just put on a set of motors and props and flew it as I would normally fly it. I flew each combination for at least a week and properly pit-tuned each combination to get the best possible experience. Now which motors have I tested? I've tested Beta FPV, 22,000 kV, 0802s, they weigh 2.05 grams. I've also tested the Beta FPV, 22,000 kV, 0802 SE motors and they weigh a little bit less, they weigh 1.85 grams. And I've also tested the Happy Model EX0802 19,000 kV and they weigh 1.75 grams. And for props, I've tested the Gemfan 40mm 4-bladed props and the HQ 40mm 1.6x1.6x4 props. Both were cut down to two bladed props. There is a large difference in weight between the two of these. The Gemfan bi-blade props come in at 0.4 grams and a total of 1.65 grams for four props. The HQ bi-blade props come in at 0.2 grams and a total weight of 0.8 grams for four props. That's a massive difference. But the gem fans also have about twice the surface area. So it will be able to generate more thrust, but it will also make the motor have to work harder for it. I found in all my testing the Beta FPV motors were quite similar. They work best with the Gemfan props. The amount of thrust this combination gives you is mind blowing. I've said it before, but it feels like a 2S drone, but then much lighter. I thought putting HQ props on would give me more flight time, but it hardly did anything. And the lighter props make the throttle very twitchy. The heavier Gemfan props seem to smooth out all the seem to smooth out the throttle curve because they take longer to spool up and gave it a nicer flying experience than the HQ props. If power is what you are looking for, the Beta FPV 22,000 kVs with gem fan props are the best combination and go for the SE version. You will save 0.8 grams and you don't get a longer flight time from that, but you do notice it while cornering. A lighter drone will corner tighter and give you less understeer. But for freestyle, the bit of added momentum is actually quite fun. So it depends on what you are planning to do with it. 
I got about five to five and a half minutes of flight time on a UR UAV 450 milliamp hour battery on a general flight mixing fast cruising with an occasional flip and roll. Next up are the Happy Model 19,000 KVs. These are the lightest motors weighing in at 1.75 grams apiece. These work best with the lighter HQ prop. And this is what most people I think will prefer. This combination is slightly less powerful than the Beta FPV with the gem, with the gem fan props, but it gives you a much more linear throttle response. Very sharp cornering because of the lightweight and the flight time of 6 to almost 7 minutes on the same 450 milliamp hour UA UR UAV batteries. When putting on the Gen fan props, I get less flight time and also less thrust than with the Beta FPV motors. There's no benefit in using the Gen fan props with the Happy Model motors. But there is a downside to this combination, durability. If you are a frequent flyer, Happy Model motors tend to wear out in about six months to a year. And as you can see, there are a lot of scuff marks on these motors. That's because the motor bell slips off all the time until the motors stop spinning. Then I push them back into place with pliers. At first I was very careful doing this, but after so many times you just don't care anymore. And the HQ props break pretty easily. They all break at the hub and I break at least one or two a week. But with such a low weight, I can understand why they break so easily and replacing a prop is cheap and done fast. Hey guys, while editing, I noticed I forgot to mention that I've also tested the Beta FPV motors with an 86% throttle curve, which, bring them, which brings them down to 19,000 kV. And levels the playing field between the Beta FPVs and the Happy models, but there wasn't any real benefit doing that. There wasn't any real flight time improvement. So it is what it is. If you get the 22,000 KVs, fly them on 22,000 KVs and prefer, preferably with the GemFan props. If you get the Happy model 19,000 KVs, fly them with the HQ props. Um, these combinations work best, but props are fairly cheap. So if you want to test this out for yourself, you can also, you can always buy both types of props and just see what works best for you, of course. So my overall winner of this test was the Happy Model 19,000 KV spared with the HQ props. Although this has some durability issues, the flight time and flight experience was the best. For me that is. Maybe you care more about pure power. At least now you know what you should choose. And now that I've chosen my definite setup, there's only one step left and that's removing motor plugs and direct soldering them to the board. I will show you how to do that in my next video. Take care guys and happy flying.